like uh, some of the viewers are experiencing the connectivity issue while connecting dynamo db uh, through no sql workbench so let's create uh, one demo over here again uh, quickly just for connectivity so first we will be creating the dynamo db service okay let me create one one of the table i'll give just a test employee i'm giving uh, id as a string okay and the name as a sort sort key okay node customization just creating the table it should take a few seconds okay so this table uh, let it create and uh, meanwhile i have create one user which has dynamo db full access so i'll give this uh, dynamo db user test so because we are going to use this user as a programmatic access not we are using it as an aws management console user so which is aws management console user is this one like i have logged in through mn um, aws console right management console so this user is going to be programmatic but you can create both ways but for currently i am going to create it as a programmatic access it will have a access key id and secret access key so it can be used in as an api through any programmatic access like uh, using python sdk right aws you know boto3 package we we create the api and all there you can use you can use through clis and other application programming interfaces like java and all like like or some other development tools okay so i'm going to click it next permissions so it is saying add a user or group i'm not going to use user into a group copy permissions from existing user i don't know i don't have any user probably so uh, attach the existing policy so this is the list of the policies so i am going to search the po policies which are you know related to dynamo db full access so i am going to create the full access there are read only or execution only and you know lambda invocation so these kind of policies are there but i am going to use the full access as of now so next i am going to create the next then it is asking to finally it is asking me to create the user so this is the user creation so this there will be a csv file it will contain you know several uh, i have another one so i am going to close this okay don't save it so I, I, for this particular user there is an credential file csv file so this will have you know this access key id and secret if you go to the user so so these are the thing you know create user db attached policies and created access key for user. these are the actions we have done so far so let me download this uh, file i'm going to open this file now so it has open right so it has username i did not give the password as of now and the access key id so this so why okay Okay, I'll use this value, right? And this is the link. So, what is this link? Is I can use this link. So, if I would have created password and all, I can create. I can use this, you know. And I can go over, paste over here, and I can use this user to directly login into the AWS Management Console. Okay. So, I mean, we are not going to do it currently. Okay. So, let me close close it. What happened? Uh, Oh, okay. It is asking me. No, we are not going to reload it. So it is. I don't know why. Okay. So let me, you know, as a root user. Okay, I have the root user. So hmm. Okay. Why did I do that? Okay, let's do uh, what is this uh, capture? This is a very difficult thing to do. H D H again, and I think it is correct. Okay, so 
23rd threat okay okay hmm where are we so this is uh, going rds directly so let me open this dynamo db con dashboard so where are the table so this table is already there and uh, we have editor also right particular editor so we can perform various ddl dml operations over here so let's not go into this uh, let me go to the we have created the users i have the files okay so i can do that so now you go to the nosql workbench you probably download it nosql workbench it's an easy to download so i'm not going to do that now currently so you when you go to the operation builder because i have a lot of users all, i mean the connections already so i'm going to show the new connection for you so i clicked on the uh, addition button and then let's say we are creating the connection for so let's go to the details over here in this page so this first is remote and the another one is DynamoDB local. So if you have downloaded the DynamoDB locally, okay, then you can use this second uh, second form, okay. And otherwise, because our our connection is the you know which is sitting in the AWS uh, you know region or AWS uh, cloud server, okay, or DynamoDB. Therefore, we are going to use this one. So if you want to see the connection setting and all, you can go to this link and see. Now what we are going to do, we are going to select the region. So what is the region? You can go ahead and see which is that, you know, Mumbai region. So app south one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select app south one. So this is app south one. Then it is asking access key ID, which is, you know, mandatory fields. I'm going to fill it up. Okay. Then we will, you know, connect it. So let me go to the, our, our, you know, Excel sheet. CSV file wherein I have an access key ID. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to place the string over here. Then I have a secret access key. Okay, so this value I'm going to copy from here and I'm going to place over here. Now I don't have to give these you know details. Okay, I, I, and nor I'm going to use this persistent connection. I'm going, not going to save these values over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect. Click on connect. Okay, so I've given the mandatory values. Okay. Uh, my connection name the new connection the region i have selected and the secret then i'm going to collect connect it okay so the request signature uh, we calculate doesn't match the signature you wrote check your will secret access key and signing method consult the service documentation for detail okay let me do one thing what is the problem connection for the us app south one right Probably there is a problem over here, I guess, secret key. So let me do one thing. I'm going to close this and then let me go to the IAM dashboard. <coughs> I have gone to the IAM dashboard and then I'm going to click the users and I would be doing is uh, like a uh, where is the user okay generate policy permissions boundary no i don't have anything permission boundaries group security credentials i'm going to try it okay this is the active okay uh, let me do one thing i'll just uh, deactivate it access key deactivated okay and then i'm going to remove it okay uh, the convenient enter the access key ID in the column. Okay, I will delete it and I will create the new one. Maybe it is some faulty or something. So I'm going to uh, for the same user. Okay, I have this user only, right? So I have where is that? I have the same user, but I would be creating you know, another uh, credential for it. Okay, create the access key. Let me create the access key. So it is shown here, here, okay. So let me go. We go to the app south one access key and copy this one as well, okay. Then just click on connect, okay. So it has created sometimes you know you miss the some character and all. So what we can do is, I mean, we just uh, 
go ahead and create okay so so it has been active okay market make it inactive so you can make it inactive or you can make it delete and then you can reactivate it so you can create another set of you know key value pair over here so this is how we create the connection right this is fourth connection okay i can open it so this is my table okay test employee table and if you want to perform particular operation what happened okay what metadata so what is this okay this is working right expand okay let me expand it test employees test employee okay so i'm just so this uh, particular statement has been successful okay so